I'm Vic Johnson. You're watching Goals to Go. Today, the topic is becoming the person you need to be to achieve your goals, and we could not have anyone who knows that better. One of the great things for me about doing this show is I get to meet my heroes. I get to be around my heroes, and this is a hero in my life. He's a guy who's spoken to more than 6,000 audiences around the world, more than 4 million people. It's incredible. Just sitting here before we started today, asking him what his upcoming travels are, literally all over the world. He's a guy who has mentored and touched the lives of tens, hundreds of thousands of people. Jim Rohn, thank you for joining us today. Rick, it's great to be here. Right. You've said that to have more than you've got, you've got to become more than you are. A um, philosophy I picked up when I was 25 years old when I met a very extraordinary man by the name of Earl Schoff. And he said, success is something you attract by becoming an attractive person. It's not something you pursue. What you pursue more often than not eludes you, but to become an attractive person. In leadership, I teach to attract attractive people, you must be attractive. And he called it uh, self-development, personal development. And uh, then a phrase that I've uh, lectured on around the world, uh, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. If you work hard on your job, you can make a living, which is fine. If you work hard on yourself, you can make a fortune, which is super fine. Mm -hmm. So that, that philosophy sort of became the centerpiece of my uh, lectures all these years, personal development, right. work on yourself. Right. I started in terms of the business side, uh, developing goals and uh, developing uh, skills I never had before right. to achieve my overall goals for myself and for my family. Um, I knew how to milk cows. I was raised in uh, <laughs> southwest Idaho, you know, farm country, but it didn't pay very well. Then I started on a little part-time basis with a product and health and nutrition that I believed in and learned sales, how to get customers, and then how to turn customers into uh, referrals and get some more. And the better you take care of them, uh, uh, the more business you do. Right. They'll help you find people you could never find uh, right. on your own. Uh, so that was the first extra skill besides those, you know, little farm skills of, you know, uh, cutting weeds and uh, milking cows. But um, that started me on a journey of personal development in terms of uh, skills and disciplines. Right. The next one I learned was uh, how to find good people. If you've got a project going and you need to uh, have some... Uh, people join you in the project, how to find them. And uh, there's a simple Bible phrase that says, if you search, you will find. So I come up with the philosophy, finding is reserved for the searchers. Uh -huh. You know, not those who hope, not those who wish, but those who search. Uh -huh. And it also says, if you want an open door of opportunity, you have to go knocking on doors. Right. So I really picked up on those uh, early philosophies of, developing skills and uh, the reason for doing it. The next skill I learned, which probably paid huge money, multiplied my income, was getting people to work together. Right. Again, it comes from a Bible phrase that says, if two or three agree on a common purpose, nothing is impossible. So by yourself, sometimes it's really tough. But if you can get somebody to join you and say, come on, let's do this. Uh, let's do it is a very powerful phrase. You rarely hear someone say, I'm going to go conquer the world. But uh, you could hear the phrase, let's go conquer the world. Let's be best in our industry. Let's be number one. The power of let's. So I learned the value of that. All of my entrepreneurial projects are, you know, not just myself, but uh, two, three, four, getting together to accomplish something unique. Right. Then I learned um, the power of recognition and reward, rewarding people for small steps of progress. Um, and be so busy giving other people recognition, you really don't need it for yourself. Right. And that embraces then the, that phrase that Zig uses all the time. If you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. Right. I heard Zig say that probably almost 50 years ago. And um, I underlined the word everything. I thought, how? That, this is it. To get everything you want, help enough people get what they want. Right. Then uh, I guess the greatest skill that changed my life was learning communication. And I divided it into three parts. First was training, showing somebody here's how the job works. The next was teaching, teaching somebody how life works. 
Right. And one of the most important um, uh, aspects of that for me was learning how to set goals. Right. My mentor one day said to me, Mr. Rohn, um, let me see your current list of goals and let's go over them and talk about them. He said, I've got some experience. I'm sure I can help you. And I said, I don't have a list. He said, really? He said, I can tell you right now, if you don't have a list of your goals, I can guess your bank balance within a few hundred dollars. Wow. Which he did. Wow. <laughs> and that got me thinking. I said, do you mean my bank balance would change if I had a list of goals? He said, drastically. <laughs> that was the day I learned how to set goals. Okay. Decide what you want. You know, write them all down. Who do you want to meet? Make that list. The books you want to read? Make that list. The places you want to go? Make that list. The experiences you want to have, make that list. Education for your family, make that list. So I started making all these lists. Then he said, just start checking them off. So at first I put a lot of little things on my list so I could check off something almost every day. Right. Because that's what's fun. Right. Then he said, if you check off something significant, celebrate. Right. Because that'll inspire you to even develop a longer list. Right. So that's what drove me, developing skills, disciplines, and then learning communication and uh, learning how not just to train, right. but to uh, teach. Then the ultimate uh, communication skill was uh, inspiring other people. Right. Well, I know I've heard you share the story of where you were when you met Mr. Shove. Like a lot of people find themselves, you were broke. Yeah. You were struggling. You were discouraged. And you met this person who you knew, as you shared with me, that, that he could be a life changer, that he could have a big influence on your life. After you got, so, so to speak, on the path, the right path, what was the first trait that you went to work on personally? What, what did you feel like you had to change first about yourself? I had to develop a real uh, appetite for learning. Okay. You, you weren't know. a learner up to that point? Well, you know, just sort of get by. Okay. You know, uh, how to get an increase in pay or, uh, uh, you know, just those it's sort of basic fundamental skills of survival. Right. But he said, you got to pursue learning in a manner in which really will help you to grow and help you to change. You know, take the classes, develop the skills. Um, so I think that was number one, become a real searcher for knowledge and awareness and understanding. Right. That's why I think today is probably the best opportunity for people to really change their lives is because so much is available. Right. If you, uh, you know, take a look, seminars and books and classes and and uh, you know, night classes, there's so much available right. that if you utilize it, uh, some you might just have to try. I wonder if I could learn this, and then you say later, no, this is not really what I want to pursue, but it's okay. Then right. try something else and something else. Right. And then uh, Mr. Schoff really went after me on developing my library right. and uh, using it as a source of uh, knowledge, awareness, understanding. And um, he said, what you think about is like this sail on the sailboat. No matter how the storm blows or how the winds blow, if you've got a place you want to arrive, uh, you can't arrive there by cursing the contrary winds. Right. You arrive there by adjusting the set of the sail. Right. And he said, that's your thinking, that's ideas, that's information. And if you're short on that, uh, sure enough, it's going to cause you difficulty in the future. Right. 